ha, <laughs> here he is, the straw man. Come over here, let's introduce you. If I was to turn around to you and say, paying your tax, registering your car, driver's license, paying fines and attending court are all optional and that we are all conned into agreeing with them, what would you say? You'd want to know more, wouldn't you? What would you do with a brain if you had one? If you're not an idiot, you should already be aware that the world is run by big corporations. But what is the meaning of corporation? Let's break it down. Corp, oration, meaning dead speak. It is an entity that only exists in a legal framework. What is your straw man? Your straw man is a victimised legal entity created at your birth, through your birth certificate and through the registration of that birth. You look in Valentin's Law Dictionary, a human being is a monster. So that's what, you know, when you walk into court, this is how they're looking at you. Let's take a look at what monster says. A monster is a human being by birth, but in some part resembling a lower animal. A monster hath no inherent blood and cannot be there to any land, albeit it be brought forth in marriage. When a human is born, there are two entities. One is a human being, flesh and blood. The second is fiction, a fictional entity, which is essentially nothing more than a piece of paper. The definition of a person, they try to get you caught up with a natural person. But how do you define a word with its own word? Isn't that, That's a peculiarity in itself. So person includes a natural person, a firm, a co-partnership, or an association, or a limited liability company or corporation. The entire essence of the Let's Pretend game is to get you to be one of these things. A corporation functioning in, in a state of fascism in a limited liability uh, world, a Let's Pretend game. The system cannot perpetuate itself without you. Mm-hmm. Your birth certificate. Sorry, what? <laughs> We're all slaves. We're all in metaphorical cages. And just like Neo, we cannot taste, touch or smell. It is a prison. <gasps> created by the mind of man. Article 61 of the Magna Carta 1215 was invoked in 2001. In the very place where she has been lying in state for the last four years, Westminster Hall, and also running me... If you live in the UK, you are led to believe that the Queen is the only sovereign. This is wrong. The Queen is given authority through the coronation oath. Her oath was a binding contract between the Crown and the people of the nation. This means that we, the people, gave her her sovereignty. And as everyone knows, you can't give something away you don't possess yourself. This means that each and every one of us are sovereign. We each have supreme independency over our own human body, our own flesh and blood. The problem is we've forgotten who we are, how powerful we are. We've all become media obsessed and in turn obsessed with our own appearance. The indoctrination box is king, but now that's slipping for the constant need to be in touch with friends. Everything is based on fear. Fear of debt, terrorism, ill health, or even the fear of climate change. This keeps us all thinking that we need the government to rule us and protect us. Uh, which they're actually not doing anyway, right? <laughs> Once you comprehend the difference between lawful and legal and ultimately what your straw man is, the fear of debt collectors, police and authority will just go away.